Employee Desktop Live Viewer is an employee monitoring software which captures the screen of the employee in real time. It incorporates the employee computer to monitor with the help of an agent setup. There are three methods to install the agent on the desired computer. Install Agent Group Policy Installation Manual Installation Install Agent Install Agent method installs the agent setup remotely. Start the process by clicking the Agent Configuration icon under Server Settings. Then click the Install Agent button. Now, to add a computer, click the Add Using IP button. Input, a complete IP address of the computer under Single Computer Edition option. To add multiple computers, click the second option of Multiple Computer Edition, and IP range of multiple computers. Another option to add multiple computers, is import from CSV. Finally, click OK. All the computers are presented in the list. If you had selected some computers earlier, but did not install the agent on them, then you can include them using Browse and Add button. It will search the computers from the network and present them in the list. After selecting computers, click OK. Now select desired number of computers and click Install button. Here you can choose to either restart now or restart later. Click the appropriate button. Next step requires you to input the complete username, password, and local server IP. Finally click login. It will validate the credentials of the user, please wait a little. After validating, it will install the agent on the computer, and will give a message after a successful installation. Close the message and click cancel. The computer will be present in the host list, if not then click Refresh. Group Policy Installation Group Policy Installation method installs the agent setup on server. To start the process, click Agent Configuration icon under Server Settings. Select for Group Policy Installation from Create Setup drop-down. Enter the desired path where you want to store the agent, server IP address and click OK. A manual agent installer is created. Click OK, and it will take you to the selected folder where the installer file is saved. After creating a setup, you need to create a group policy on the server. On the server, go to server domain, right-click it and select the first option of create a GPO in this domain. Provide a new name to the group policy and click OK. After creating the GPO, go to its security filtering and click Add button, it will open a wizard. Here, enter the object name, otherwise click the Advanced button, then click Find Now button and search the object name from the list. Finally, click OK. After completing security filtering, it's time to edit the group policy. Just right-click it and select Edit. Go to User Configuration, then under Policies, go to Windows Settings, and click on Scripts. Go to Log On option, right-click it and select Properties. Now click Add button and then browse the installer setup you had created earlier. After making all the changes, close all wizards and run the command prompt as an administrator. Run the following command. After a successful group policy update, whenever the user will log on to the server domain, the agent will automatically deploy on the system and monitoring will start. Manual Installation Under Manual Installation, you create the agent setup and manually install on the employee computer. To create the manual agent setup, click Agent Configuration under Server Settings. Select for Manual Installation under Create Setup drop-down. Enter the path to save agent setup and enter local server IP. A message will pop up that manual agent installer is created. Click OK again and it will take you where the installer is created. Now you must manually install the agent on the employee computer. If you want to uninstall agent from any employee computer, then you can easily do it by using the uninstall button. After clicking the uninstall button, the list of monitoring computers will be displayed. Select any computer and click uninstall. It will ask you whether you really want to uninstall the agent. Click yes. Input administrator details of the computer and click login. After a successful login, the agent will be uninstalled automatically. Uninstaller creates a special setup to uninstall the agent from a computer permanently. 
click the Uninstaller button. Input a path to save the setup and the IP address of desired computer. Finally, click OK. It will take you to the folder where an Uninstaller application is created. Now you will have to manually take it to the employee computer and execute it. Thanks for watching the video. To know more about Employee Desktop Live Viewer, please visit our next videos.